Good morning, Anchor Point. How are you guys doing today? My name is Auntie Jill, and it has been such a blessing to be able to come and join with you during this COVID season and share so many lessons from the Bible with you. But this is going to be my last pre-recorded children's lesson because we are moving into a new season of children's ministry. Here at the Lakeside Campus, we are gonna be offering children's church for grades four and under. And what that would look like is that we would still come together and worship as a family in the sanctuary. And then myself and my team would take the children downstairs in order to do a kid's lesson downstairs with them and maybe a craft and a snack and all that great stuff. And then when we hear the last song upstairs, we'll bring the children back upstairs to join their families for the closing worship. So that's what we're going into for children's ministry here at Anchor Point at the Lakeside location. So being my last pre-recorded lesson with you guys, I thought we would bring back the flannel graph and I wanted to share the story with you of Jonah because we can learn some great things from the life of Jonah. And one of those lessons is that we cannot run away or hide from God because you see, Jonah was trying to run away. He wasn't trying to run away from home, but he was trying to run away and hide from God. See, Jonah was one of God's helpers, and he loved God, but kind of. Because you see, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh, and there were some very wicked, wicked people in Nineveh, and God told Jonah to go to Nineveh and to tell them that they needed to change the way that they were living, or else God was going to destroy them. Well, Jonah heard this and he thought to himself, no way, I do not wanna to go to Nineveh. I could get hurt if I told them that God's gonna destroy them. They could kill me if I told them that they had to change their wicked ways. And so Jonah started listening to what Satan was telling him. Satan was filling Jonah with his thoughts and just because Satan knew that if Jonah went to Nineveh, the people of Nineveh might actually change and they might actually repent and turn to God. And that is not what Satan wanted to happen, is it? So Jonah chose to listen to Satan and his thoughts and he started to fear going to Nineveh and afraid of what God wanted him to do. And that is why Jonah was running away. So what Jonah did is he decided to go down to the city port of Joppa. And there in Joppa, Jonah got on a boat with some other men. And you know what? That boat was heading off to Tarshish. Now Tarshish was a city in the complete opposite direction of Nineveh. And so Jonah was going this way, away from Nineveh as far as he could. So he paid his fare, he got on the boat, he went down below deck and the boat set off into open water and all was peaceful and Jonah thought he was hiding and nobody would be able to find him. He started relaxing and maybe even fell asleep underneath in the bottom of the boat. Well, not all was well because while Jonah was down there sleeping, up above in the boat, the skies started getting darker and the waves started getting bigger and higher and the weather got very, very dangerous. One of the sailors went down under the boat and he grabbed Jonah and said, why are you on this boat with us? Well, as soon as Jonah woke up and heard that, he knew God had found him because he told the sailors, I have disobeyed God and I, it is my fault that there is such a bad storm going on out here. I was trying to hide from God, but if you throw me into the ocean, into that water, the storm will go away. Well, the sailors thought, no way, that would be so cruel. We're not gonna throw a man into the open waters and leave him there to drown. That is very cruel. And so those sailors started rowing that boat harder and harder, trying to get out of the storm, but the storm just got worse and worse. And so eventually those sailors had to throw Jonah into the waters where he started sinking down, down to the bottom of the ocean. 
But on his way down there, God knew he was there, and God sent a great big fish. And that fish came and swallowed up Jonah whole. And Jonah spent three miserable days in the belly of that fish. But while he was there in the belly of that fish, Jonah had lots of time to think about what he had done, to think about his life and how he had disobeyed God. And so while Jonah was in the belly of that fish, he prayed and asked God to forgive him for what he had done. And sure enough, God heard his prayers and God told that great big fish to take Jonah and spit him back out close to shore. And so that is exactly what that fish did. Fish swam closer to the shore, closer to land, and he spit Jonah out onto the land right there. And God told Jonah one more time, Jonah, go to Nineveh and tell the people of Nineveh that they need to change from their wicked ways. And so that's what Jonah did. He went back to the city of Nineveh, or he went to the city of Nineveh, and he started preaching to the people there. And he told the people there that they needed to change from their wicked ways. Because in 40 days, if they did not change, in 40 days, God was going to destroy the city of Nineveh. Well, those people in Nineveh, do you know what they did? They started gathering around Jonah and they started listening to Jonah's message from the Lord. And they listened and not only did they listen, but they prayed and asked God to forgive them for the, what they had done. And, and then they changed and turned away from their wicked ways. Well, God heard their prayers of repentance and God forgave the people of Nineveh and he did not destroy the city of Nineveh. And we can learn again from the life of Jonah that God is always with us. No matter where we are, he is there with us. We cannot hide or run away from God. Thank you so much for listening to my lesson. Again, it's been such a blessing. Thank you.